Hi everyone, this is Hannah with Deanna Girls Designs and I wanted to show you these two journals uh, that I custom made um, for a lady and um, she had purchased the um, one of the mini junk journals that I made and it was um, using the Prima Tales of You and Me paper collection um, which I had so much fun making and so when she saw that, when she asked if I could make her um, these other two, one, um, you know, like flowers and butterflies and trees, and then one specifically trees and more rustic looking. So these, uh, this is what I made, um, you know, and sent pictures to her along the way showing the progress. Um, and, you know, and she really likes both of these. So I'm fixing to be... Uh, putting these in the um, uh, packaging them up and shipping them to her but I wanted to do a quick video just to um, you know um, show you these journals maybe inspire you to make a, a mini junk journal of your own so this one is the first one that I made um, and I really um, had so much fun making these um, and it's um, the cover part is a three and three fourths of an inch by five and a half, I think, or five and a quarter. And then the actual inside of the regular pages is three and a half by five. So on the cover, um, this, uh, I guess the background page part of the cover is a Tim Holtz. Um, it's one of the newer paper pads and I cannot remember what it's called memoranda I want to say is the name of it um, but I, I love his paper um, so I used it as the background this was a part of the paper and I just tore it out distressed the edges and um, inked the edges um, you know did some layering and uh, I had some um, some vintage trim in the back here so I put that and layered some tea dyed um, cardstock in the back and then some corrugated cardboard and then the you know the focal point of it um, then I've got a little bit of burlap some layers of trim underneath here I took some um, tw twine uh, uh, yeah I think twine um, by American Crafts and I, I just really love this color just to kind of pull some of the color that's in the background there to bring it to the front um, and she also liked red so I tried to do some pops of red she just wanted just a little bit here and there um, so the burlap um, I um, inked it uh, red <clears throat> and then on the buttons um, you know, I put some red thread um, through the holes, and then I had this uh, fabric um, trim that I put, and then the back of it, I just left it plain. I just really liked the look of it. So then whenever you open it up, you know, and this page is from the Wallflower Tim Holtz paper collection, and then I have the muslin uh, paper or not muslin fabric um, you know because I do the cardstock and then manila folder and then cardstock um, and then also Tyvek in between as well um, going along down the the spine of the book and then I cover the Tyvek with the muslin fabric um, you know to hide the Tyvek and then to just give it kind of that old feel look um, and then I've got a paper doily and then some more of the Tim Holtz paper. This is a little bitty book that I made. Um, just took some of the tea dyed paper, folded it up, put some washi tape, sewed it down the middle, and then I had a stamp. Um, this is actually a Prima stamp from the Royal uh, Menagerie paper collection. Um, I love that stamp. I use it on pretty much all of my projects. Um, and I paper clipped it on there along with a little tiny butterfly ephemera and it's a, a real um, well, it's a copy from um, 
I want to say like a 1875 or 1900 uh, book that had you know plants and butterflies in it so I just I just cut that out and inked it up then here's the other side of that and then this was a tree that I had printed out and it's from 1875 tree book or British encyclopedia um, this is and then I did a little stamp here and uh, just some layers there for a little touch spot and this is some vellum paper and I inked it up did uh, this was the bottom of that stamp from the Royal Menagerie paper collection um, I dipped um, put some white um, chalk ink on it and you know just kind of made it look just distressed like and then I white embossed it um, and then this here just have some fabric tape and then some of that vintage trim and then I stitched it tucked this in there and then this page I uh, just kind of was messing around with some decoupage um, and then I've got washi tape going along the side here I thought that was really neat and then I've got um, a pocket made with the muslin material layers of some trim and then I've got this as an old um, copy of a moth from the uh, from the same book so and this is more Tim Holtz paper and this was an old uh, where did this come from oh this came from Tim Holtz paper I just cut it out and glued it on and um, this was a butterfly, uh, I think a Tim Holtz butterfly stamp that I did. I love Tim Holtz stuff. Um, this is some um, uh, mulberry paper that actually has leaves and stems inside of it. I thought that'd be really cool. And then here's a stamp here. And then here's another little tree from the same book and just layers for a little tuck spot. I love doing this. Uh, it's just so much, so much fun. And this, I uh, did the same thing with a little book, added washi tape, sewed it, um, did a bird because she also wanted birds on there as well. So I did that. I also tucked um, this a little journal tag behind it with butterflies and plants. Just clipped that on there. And then on the other side had a little butterfly clip clipped on there. And got a little fabric pocket there. And specifically what she was asking me um, is um, uh, there is an artist by the name of Nellie Wartman. Um, she's very, very talented, and she wanted me to follow her style somewhat, um, but then, you know, with, uh, you know, some of these colors, so that's what I did. Uh, I thought it turned out really well. It was really fun to do. Okay, so that's that one. This one, more specifically, I tried to focus on Nellie Wortman's style, how she makes her books and journals. Um, so this is kind of more of the rustic look for sure. And But I thought it turned out really pretty. I really like it. And um, so I took a, um, it's a mulberry paper, a brown mulberry uh, cardstock. Um, it ended up being too dark, um, so I just took some gesso to kind of tone it down and did the same on the back. Um, and I found a, a picture of a tree and I just kind of inked that up. Um, I've got some lace uh, trim behind it, cheesecloth that I had dyed, um, corrugated cardboard, burlap. Um, did a couple of buttons and then just added some burlap and some vintage trim just you know just different pieces on there and then when you open it up I've got some textured cardstock that I applied crackle paste on just to kind of give it 
some um, you know some dimension you know some texture um, and then this here um, I took uh, the Tim Holtz stencil that has the tree on it so and I did that with uh, gesso and then I also just kind of sprayed the page with um, uh, antique linen um, and then applied these layers of paper and fabric and stitched the zigzag stitch down it and um, and just throughout a lot of these bank blank pages I did you know uh, I used the speckle stencil by Tim Holt Tim Holtz and um, used either the antique linen or vintage photo just kind of watered down so it wasn't really dark um, and, and applied it through there, sprayed it through there just to give some color so it wasn't completely a blank page. And then here's a book with a tree and then I added some washi tape, stitched it down the middle. This I had applied very lightly uh, a stamp and then I added some paint. And then here's a stamp, that Royal Menagerie stamp and white embossed it. And then this was a stencil of like leaf vines, I believe is what it is. Um, so I applied that with gesso and then just kind of kind of sprayed some ink around it, added some layers of paper and fabric and you know stitched it there. Paper clipped this. And this was from that 1875 book of trees as well. I think it was a German on oh, this one might have been a German book of trees. <clears throat> and here's another tree that I had, uh, you know, glued uh, on here, mod podged on there. And then did another, sewed another little tuck spot there. This is a fabric pocket with a little book with a tree. And this was from that same old book. Another little fabric tuck spot. And I had a stamp of a tree, so I applied some paint onto the stamp and just stamped it right on. And I thought it had a really nice effect. And then using that same, uh, that speckle stencil just kind of spritzed a little bit of the vintage photo water down. This was a Prima Doily stencil, and I added some gesso. And then this has a, a stamped a tree on there, you know, did some spraying, just a little bit of paint. <clears throat> I really had fun. Um, it, it was definitely something out of my comfort zone, um, but I really, you know, just went full force into it and just loved every minute of it. It, it was really fun. And uh, I do like to do uh, custom projects like this. It just really, um, it's an adventure trying something new, you know, <clears throat> not having all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Um, so this really was um, fun, and, um, and she was a joy to work with. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any, um, you know, comments that you would like to put uh, put below, please do so. And I hope that this inspires you to uh, get some of your stuff out and, and make a junk journal as well. It really is a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.